In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can take part of your project and export it as an animated GIF or animated PNG. We'll also show you the difference between those two files when they are output. They operate differently when you click on them and they have slightly different characteristics. So let's get started. I have this video of this train on a trestle. And let's assume I want to take part of it and make a short GIF or animated PNG file out of it. The easiest way to do it precisely is to decide where I want to start and stop the area I'm going to use. So in my project, if I do Alt-G, that will take me to my time code. I'm going to take the frames, which is where it starts, and type that a zero there. And I'll use the left arrow on my time code. And let's say we want to go back to 16 seconds. I'll type in 1-6, press Enter. Now I'll hit the M key. That will give me a marker there. If I want it three seconds long, that would be 16 plus 3 is 19. So I'll do Alt-G, left arrow, and type in 19. Press Enter and press the M key again. So now I have a three second area exactly. So what I want to do now that I have my area selected with markers is I'm going to use the range. I'll take the little yellow area to the left of the playhead and drag it and it will snap to the other marker. So now I have exactly three seconds, which will be the duration of my animated GIF. Now to create it, I'm going to click on Export Range. It will save it as a temporary project, and then it will open up this screen in the new version of PowerDirector. I need to go to Image, and now I need to select the image before I put the name in. We're going to do the animated GIF option, and I'll just call this Train 1. I'll take the resolution I want to use. Let's do 800 by 450. And the frame rate, I can pick from these options here. Let's do 24. Then all I have to do is click on Export. We see we have our duration on the lower left. And it will create the file. When it's created, I have two options. In the upper right corner, I can simply close the window on the X, or I can open the file location. Let's do that. Now here is my Train 1 GIF. We see it's 17,000 uh, kilobytes. We'll click on it, and there it is. Now GIFs have no audio, but it does have a video, and it will recycle three seconds at this resolution and this size over and over again. So I like that. So let's go back to our main screen, and we'll close this out. One thing you notice is it doesn't put it into the media room. Let's do the same thing now with the same range and export it as an animated PNG. I'm going to click on that same button. And in a moment, we're going to have the same screen come up. I'm going to click on Image. Now, I should not put the name in yet until I select it, because if I put it in here, it will default to something else once I click the Format and change that. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do Animated PNG. And now I'll call this Train 2. And we'll pick the same resolution and the same frame rate. And click on Export. It will take not much time to do the same thing. And I will get the same two options. I can open the file location or simply close the window. Let's open the file location again because I want to show you a difference here. We'll click on that. And now I have a Train 2 PNG and I'll click on it. And guess what? All I see is a static image. Why? because a PNG is different in the, the animated format than a GIF file. If you click on it, it doesn't show it animated. To see it animated, you have to do one of two things. You have to put it inside a video editor like we have here, or you have to use a special program, or you can simply drag and drop it with your browser open. I just used it a few moments ago and it works fine. So if I drag this file into my browser, it would it would load on the browser as a new page and animate. I would see the train moving. There's another option we're going to use here, though. I'm going to close the window out. And I'll open up my, my tab here. And then I'm going to take and drag and drop it and put it in the media room. So here's my train to PNG. And I'm just going to double click on this. And now I see it. 
if I watch, it will, it says it's only three seconds long. Now what I want to do next is stay tuned and we're going to show you a difference side by side between the GIF and the PNG. But one other thing I want you to see before that is the file size. If you look here carefully, the GIF is 17K, the PNG file is 44K large. Why? It's because the resolution in the terms of the color pixels that you have in the PNG is a lot deeper than it is in the GIF. You'll probably notice that in the following example.